Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick refresher over the basics of fractions since we haven't been in school for a few weeks. So number one, fractions. A fraction shows equal parts of a whole. The important part to remember about fractions is we're dividing things equally. There's going to be a whole and there's going to be some parts. Sometimes it's the parts that you're using, sometimes it's the parts that left, that's left over. But that's what the definition of a fraction is. So when you're looking at a fraction, you have a number, a fraction line or fraction bar, and then you have another number underneath it. So your top number is gonna be your numerator. The numerator is the number of parts counted or separated. So your numerator is the number of parts. One way to remember numerator is the N is the number, because numerator is mean, sounds like number, number of parts. That's the top number, your numerator. Your bottom number is called the denominator. So the denominator is the equal pieces of the whole. So the denominator is the whole. How many pieces did you divide your object into? The total number of pieces. So I also remember denominator is the denominator goes down. It's the down number. So denominator is the equal pieces of the whole and it goes down. So this is your numerator on top, denominator on the bottom. One of the most important things to remember about fractions is they do need to be split equally. So fractions must have equal parts. So here are two, some examples of fractions versus non-fractions. So this one right here is divided equally. Circles are pretty tricky to divide. If you divide them into even numbers, they're a little bit easier than dividing them into odd numbers. But this one's divided equally. Each piece is equal. It's equal, so you could talk about that in terms of fractions. Over here, this one is not equal. So this one couldn't be talked about in terms of fractions. Over here, we have an equal, equally divided square. So if it's equal, we can talk about it as a fraction. This one is unequal. So we really couldn't talk about it as a fraction because none of the pieces are equal in it. So fractions must have equal parts. The numerator is the number of parts counted and the denominator is the equal pieces of the whole. So I hope you remember a little bit about fractions since we've started and I hope this jogs your, your memory.